Hello everyone. So I just uh, wanted to come on and give a little life update. I know I promised that I would do this um, and kind of fill everybody in on where I am, what's going on, uh, how my time away from the parish has been, um, and when I'm coming back. So um, there's going to be an announcement in uh, the bulletin this weekend, but also I'm sure uh, Father Scott's going to make an announcement at the end of Masses as well. Um, but my time away from the parish is going to be a bit extended. Um, over the last 18 months or so, just for some background information, um, they've kind of been really difficult for me, and I've really been struggling. Um, and I've noticed that it kind of started with um, the death of my grandmother back in May of 2020, uh, kind of right in the heart of the pandemic. Um, since then, like, just things in my life have happened and it's been uh, like almost like one thing after another and um, really haven't processed a lot of those things. And I noticed um, that over the last several months that it was getting a lot more difficult to concentrate, to focus on what I was doing, um, really wasn't sleeping that well and just different things kind of pointing me to like uh, something was a little off. And so um, reached out to my counselor and put myself back in counseling in May, and uh, which is good. It's it's good to kind of talk to somebody about different things, and um, I think all priests should kind of have that. Uh, just kind of my two cents, but um, so I put myself back in in, in counseling in May, and um, was meeting with my counselor once a month, and just like talking things through and recognizing that uh, things kind of weren't really getting any better, and. Um, so after talking to my counselor and talking to my spiritual director, my priest fraternity group, uh, one of my priest mentors, one of my spiritual mentors, um, everybody was like telling me, you need to take some time away from the parish and uh, kind of focus on you for a change and really dive into, um, you know, a deeper encounter with the Lord, see what he's saying in the midst of all this stuff. Um, and also to, to get a psychological assessment, like what's going on. Um, and so part of... Uh, my time away from the parish, I know we announced at the end of August that I was going to be on retreat for September. Well, part of that was um, coming to a, a, a Catholic center for renewal and um, getting an assessment done to kind of see what was going on. And um, in the middle of September, I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety. And um, so after talking to my counselor, my psychologist, my um, psychiatrist, my spiritual director, uh, my family, um, like uh, it was very obvious to me that I needed to um, continue this process of healing. And so um, again, my time away from the parish is going to be a little bit extended. I've entered into a residency program uh, for treatment for depression and anxiety, and I'm not sure when that program is going to end. So uh, just speaking honestly. And uh, But you know what? I think this is a time for me to really get healthy, a time for me to focus on me, as I said, and um, to to really just encounter the Lord in the midst of all of this stuff and um, see what he's saying and how he is bringing me to a place of, of wholeness. Um, I'm surrounded by a really good group of people here, um, not only the residents, uh, but my psychologist, my, my psychologist, my psychiatrist, the clinical director here, um, all of the staff, they're incredible, faithful Catholics, um, and like they love what they do. And so I'm uh, just surrendered to the process. I'm letting the Lord kind of lead and uh, whatever he needs to bring up, he'll bring up. And whatever I need to focus on is what I need to focus on. So I'm taking this time to really just kind of uh, learn more about me, honestly, and um, uh, to like see what the Lord is doing in my life and in my heart. Um, and this is all for... Like my, my focus right now is um, I need to be the best priest uh, for my people. And uh, over the last several months, uh, I just haven't been able to give 100% of myself to my parish and to my people. Um, and they deserve the best. And so uh, so I'm taking this time to, to get healthy, as I said, uh, to get, you know, to allow the Lord to bring me to a place of wholeness and um, so that I can be the best priest that, that he needs me to be for my people. And um, this as long as that happens, like it, however long it takes is however long it takes. 
So I just want to thank you for the prayers. I know a lot of people have uh, been reaching out and uh, asking how things are going and uh, saying that they've been praying for me and, and so on and so forth. Please keep those prayers coming. Uh, I need them now more than ever. And, uh, you know, I, I was thinking that, like, um, I've, I, I wanted to come on and, and, and share a little bit more and be a little more transparent um, in the hopes that, um, you know, other people who are struggling might hear my story and be like, you know what? Yeah, I need some help too. Um, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to not be okay. And um, I think that's a, a, I think that's something that we have all kind of grown um, to acknowledge, uh, especially over the last couple of years with you know dealing with the pandemic and um, just all the stuff that's kind of happened in our world. Uh, you know, I think a lot of us are more aware of the importance of focusing on our mental health. Um, and I know tomorrow, uh, October 10th, is World Mental Health Day. And so um, it's kind of apropos that uh, this is kind of happening right now. Um, so just a word of encouragement to those who might be struggling as well um, to reach out to a friend or, or someone and, you know, acknowledge that um, you're struggling. It's okay to do that. And if you have a friend who, who is struggling with their mental health, like, be there for them. Be a listening ear. Be someone... Uh, you know, who, who shows them compassion and, um, and love uh, and empathy and just listen to them. And, and uh, if they need help getting, you know, uh, other resources in line to, to help them kind of grow and, um, you, know, uh, you know, focus on them, help them in that area. So, but uh, thank you for the prayers. Know that I'm praying for all of you. And uh, I look forward to um, coming back to Holy Name of Jesus sometime soon. I don't know when that's going to be again, but uh, know that I'm praying for you. I appreciate your prayers for me. Um, and uh, until we see each other again, hang in there, okay?